There's a couple commands that we've modernized in Inventor 2019. The first one is the whole command. Um, and the, we've laid the groundwork here, so you'll see this in future commands over time. But in the whole command, you'll notice it looks a little bit cleaner, a little more tidy. A um, couple things that I can do with this, if I drag it to the, the side, I can dock it to the, the right side. I can dock it on the side of the browser. I can even drag it down to the bottom of the browser and dock it in the browser. So that's very nice for me to, to be able to have it there. Then of course I can have it just over the, the Inventor Canvas as well. Um, so moving on, one of the highly requested features that we've had for a while is being able to have favorites or presets. Um, so now you'll notice, I'm just going to pick on the face and I've got a handful of pre-created presets. So I've got a quarter inch through hole, a uh, quarter inch counter bore hole. Uh, if I wanted to make a, count of a quarter inch counter sink hole, I could do that. So I have a quarter inch, I'm gonna create a counter sink and we're just gonna create a new one from that. And I'll just do something like a quarter inch counter sink and save it. So now I have a quarter inch counter bore, counter sink, and through, and I can toggle between those and, and use those. So it's very easy for me to be able to easily create those, create the whole types that I want to use that are important to me, and I can uh, I can reuse those over and over again. Um, so I'm also going to come in and just spec uh, grab that outer edge to place uh, the whole concentric to a couple of these edges. Very easy to do. Uh, we'll swap over to a counter bore or just a, a through hole. Now imagine, I'm um, kind of moving to the next part of it, imagine I've, I've set this up, I'm, these are all concentric, but I want to add another hole all in the same hole dialog, the whole feature, but it's going to be offset from this edge. One of the nice things that we've done now is you'll notice that I can go to sketch. So you may not have noticed it when I first created the hole, but I didn't start out with a sketch. I just was picking edges like we like we can do uh, with with Inventor, but you really kind of choose if you're going to go down the route of um, using a sketch with whole centers or being able to grab uh, certain information from the Inventor model. Um, here, you kind of get the best of both both worlds that I can leverage the the whole feature and I can just pick edges and specify where I want to place uh, place holes. I can also go into the sketch and I can put whole centers. So it may be that I put a whole center there and I could come in and dimension that from the edge. So it's creating a, a sketch on the fly and allowing me to specify where I want that. Uh, from here we'll go back to the whole feature. I can see the preview of it and we'll hit OK. Uh, if I take a look at it in the browser, we notice that it created a sketch under under the, the whole feature. And if I want to edit, I can edit the sketch by itself. Or if I edit the whole, I have the same capability to go back into the sketch or the whole. So uh, it really eliminates me having to back up going to the sketch if I forgot to add a whole center, add the whole center, and then going back into the whole. I can just do it all at once. Um, so from there, the next thing that we're going to take a look at is the measure command. So if we go into our measure command, uh, last year, 2018, we actually added the ability to be able to dock this around to the different parts of the user interface, uh, much like what we did with the whole this year. One of the things that we did this year is we added uh, back the accumulation of uh, measurements. So it may be that if I wanted to pick a couple of edges here, we'll just say pick those two edges, I have two inches. I can say let's hold that value and we're going to pick a couple of more edges and add those to it. So I accumulate those um, throughout my model. So with that, I could keep selecting various ones. It would add them up, and I can get my overall value. So those are a couple of the nice things we've done on the modernization front for Inventor. And um, love to get your feedback. Certainly play with it. Let us know what you think. And um, we'll see where we go from there. Thank you.